Right, so this is your first trip to the Isle of Wight, is it, Gabs? No, I've actually, I've been here a few times when I was younger because we came on holiday, but I don't really remember much of it because I was a lot younger, but I've never performed here before. Never performed here before? Yeah. Where have you been performing? Um, sort of in, like, London and Liverpool and sort of all over the place. But I've never been here to perform, though, so I'm excited. OK. Now, how long, how far back has music been part of your life? I think like all like forever really for as long as I can remember I've been singing and uh, writing music and stuff but um, sort of not since PGT has it all sort of kicked off for me and I've been doing loads of gigs and stuff but I've always been like playing at home and stuff. Right now the PGT experience how was that I mean you obviously went along for the initial auditions what was that like how did you feel? Uh, I was really, really nervous at the beginning because I'd never really done anything like that. So I was just sort of really, really nervous. But then um, as sort of the, the competition went on, I got more confident and it was fun. Yeah. How old were you when you when you initially went into the first auditions for um, BGT? I was 13 when I sort of signed on. But I think I think by the time I actually got on the TV, I think I was 14 by then. Yeah. Right. And appearing in front of all of these people, how nervous was it? How nerve wracking? Oh, very, very. I was so, so scared. But then uh, I think I was scared at the beginning because I didn't know what people would think. And then by the final, because I didn't think that I was going to win. So when I got to the final, which, which I didn't, but I didn't think I was anyway. And then by the time I got to the final, I wasn't really nervous at all because it was just about performing and rather than I, I wasn't scared about getting through or anything because I wasn't yeah. expecting anything. So. How the, the judges, the crew, how were they? How did they act towards you and other contestants on BGT? They were really, really nice. Actually, everyone was really, really nice. And so I think I think it was just a really good experience. I just had a great time. So, yeah. And it was it was great to work. I mean, you obviously had musicians there as well. So yeah. how was that working with all of these? professional crew, music, <laughs> musicians. Yeah, it was really, really cool. It was like cool because um, Brent's Got Talent's got so many different acts. It was cool like seeing everybody else and watching everyone else's performances as well. So. What sort of things did the judges say about you? Um, I know that uh, Simon Cowell said uh, he was looking at a future pop star, which is amazing. And <laughs> there was loads of really, really lovely comments and I really wasn't expecting it. So, it was really so that nice. felt really good when Simon Cowell says to you, here's a future yeah. pop star. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. my dad always says that I'm good, but you know, your parents are going to say like nice things about you, so I didn't really know. And then as soon as they said stuff like that, then I really sort of thought, oh, okay. 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 So that was 2013. Yeah. We're now two years on. What's been happening in those two years? A uh, lot. I've been uh, writing new music, recording, performing at loads of gigs, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll, I'm hopefully going to be releasing something in the next year because um, I've been recording a lot and writing a lot, so hopefully. Okay. And writing your own music, writing your own things, where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, from, from all sorts of things. I mean, not a lot of it is personal experience. Some of it is, but a lot of it's like seeing things on TV, seeing things in movies and stuff and thought, oh, that's relatable. I'll write about that. Yeah. Okay. So you get your inspiration from all kinds of things. Yeah. Um, and you've got uh, several singles out. Remind me what those are. Uh, first was Lighters and then Lie There and afterwards I released Change the Game which was sort of um, after that and then uh, I did a World Cup football song which was written by um, another guy but I performed on that and it was called Holiday in Brazil so I've done those. Right. Yeah. And, and when you did the, the World Cup one, um, where did you... Where did you get the music, the idea for that? Was that something you wrote yourself? I, I didn't write it. Um, a guy called Paul, he wrote it. And um, he came to me and said, oh, what about this? And we thought it'd be cool because I sort of helped write some of the raps in it because it, I was like one of the first females to, I think I was the first female to do a World Cup song. So we thought it'd just be really fun. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. And your own music, um, the ones that you've done like Lie There and Lighter, um, you say you got your inspiration from all kinds of different places. Yeah. How about your parents? How have they uh, kind of helped you with, with your music? Oh, my parents have like, been so, so supportive with it. I mean, my mum sort of sings in like the church choir and stuff like that, so she, she knows a little bit about music. And um, my dad is literally not musical at all. He, can't, he cannot <laughs> sing like to save his life, but he's been so supportive. Like He drives me around everywhere, and he's really, really nice and kind, very kind. 
yeah, and support it. Yeah. So they support you. Yes. And what what are you looking forward to doing now in in 2015? I know we've got Snap tonight at Ride yeah. Arena, which is a vast event. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what other things are you looking forward to doing in in 2015? I'm hoping to do some Christmas lights coming up soon. So do some of those. Um, just more gigging, recording, because um, obviously I'm hoping to release something next year. So, yeah. And uh, you come from Stevenage. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Coming from Stevenage, going to an ordinary school, as I imagine you did, yeah. etc. Um, what did the other uh, pupils, students at the school think when you were uh, away there doing Britain's Got Talent? Uh, I think everyone thought it was quite cool. Because, I mean, I'm still at school now because I do my A-levels at the moment uh, at sixth form. So everyone at school thinks it's quite cool. And, yeah, they, everyone thinks it's really cool and being really supportive about it. I think the seagull <laughs> thinks it's really cool as well <laughs> yeah. in the background, wants to get in on the act. Um, and when you finish your A-levels, um, what are you planning to... I mean, obviously you've got a career in music ahead of you, but have you yeah. got other plans as well? Uh, no, sort of. I want to focus completely on my music once my A-levels are done. Um, I really want to just kick it all off, release stuff, tour and stuff like that, yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Well, hope we have a good show tonight, Gabs, thank and you. thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.